it's me and today I'm here to do another, I don't want to say beauty haul, but I guess that's kind of what it is. It's basically just all the products that have been sent to me over the last few weeks. I always unbox them on my Snapchat and stuff. People are always asking if I can do reviews of things, so I thought it would just be fun to just start doing these types of videos. The last three have gone over pretty well with you guys, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So first off, I wanna say I'm sorry if the light goes kind of in and out. We are working with mid-afternoon lighting, which can kind of be a little bit finicky. But starting off, we have some skincare products. These are by L'Oreal. This is the Hydra Genius for Extra Dry Skin Line. I will say that I've only been using this stuff for the last week, but I actually like it. It's really, really nice. I've been having really, I have combination skin. I have very dry skin on the outside, but a very oily T-zone. And what I've heard from a lot of dermatologists and a lot of skincare people is that sometimes the reason why you have oily skin is because you are dehydrated or your skin is too dry. So by moisturizing it, you can actually fix the oiliness. And I will say that I have seen a lot less oiliness in my skin since I started using this. I don't know if you guys can see it in my videos, but I've had to use a lot less powder and my face has stayed a lot more matte throughout the day, especially when I work out and stuff. My face doesn't seem to seem so oily after I'm done working out either so maybe this stuff is working I don't know but I'm gonna keep using it to see my face is not getting any more oily so that's a plus and it has been more hydrated so I do like this stuff I love the packaging it's absolutely beautiful it's like that really thick fancy glass so for a drugstore product well done with the packaging. Really, really like that. Next, moving on to another skincare product line. Uh, Garnier sent me a bunch of their micellar or micellar. I am terrible at pronunciations. Uh, little makeup removers. Ugh. And I actually really, really like these. They sent me two travel size ones, which you guys know. I love anything itty bitty. Anything like in little mini form or travel size form. I know I sound ridiculous, but I just, I really like miniature sizes. Anyway, so they sent these as well. They do sell travel size if you guys are wondering. These are great for if you're flying somewhere and you need like a little tiny something of liquid. I like that. They have it in the all-in-one waterproof and all-in-one just regular for all skin types. So you have that as your little makeup removers. But they also sell them in big sizes, which I gave away the blue bottle top one to a friend of mine who uses waterproof makeup. You guys know I don't really use waterproof makeup at all. Uh, and they work really well. I've been using the one, the all-in one mattifying one. It removes makeup, cleanses, and purifies pores. You don't have to rinse. There's no harsh rubbing. And it gets my Kat Von D eyeliner off really nicely. It gets my eyebrows off nicely. It gets my lip product off nicely. It works really well. So this is what I've been using is the green one. I have not been using the one for, um sensitive skin all-in-one pink one uh, but I, I can only imagine it works just as well I mean why wouldn't it so I've really been liking these especially for the lip remover I like my Neutrogena wipes but for removing my lipstick sometimes the Neutrogena stuff like dries them out a little bit I've noticed that these don't dry my lips out as much using them to remove my lip makeup so that's a plus they also sent a packet of their micellar uh, makeup removing towelettes which I love these as well again I really like these just because they take off everything like sometimes when I'm feeling really lazy and I don't want to I know when I don't want to wash my face before I go to bed but I've had a full face of makeup on I've had those nights more than I'd like to admit but I'm a mom of three like cut me a break here I don't always do like the best skincare routine every night and I'll probably pay for that later on in life but right now sleep's more important to me so sometimes I just don't want to wash my face so these are really really nice at just removing all my makeup before I go to bed <laughs> at least I remove my makeup now uh, but these are really really good do you guys remember back in the day when you're really young and you could just like fall asleep with a full face of makeup on and it was just like totally legit like it was okay and sometimes you could even just roll out of bed and go to school or go to work with just like the leftover makeup <sighs> those were the days but anyways, enough nostalgia. I've been loving these though, just for again, just wiping all my makeup off. They work really, really well. My skin doesn't feel oily or greasy or anything like that, and they work. The last skincare product I have is by Skin Fix. This is a fragrance-free and paraffin-free hand repair cream. That was a mouthful. They actually sent me three of these in this little nice, like, pocket size and I have one of them sitting upstairs on my headstand by my bed just because I really really like to use this at night because my hands have just been super dry I've talked about this before I don't know what's going on if it's just this wonky weather in the Midwest but my hands have never been this dry ever in my life and I just feel like 
I don't know. I have also been washing my hands a lot lately because everybody around me keeps getting sick, so that might be it too, but whatever it is, my hands have been super duper dry and this stuff has been really nice at night to just kind of really hydrate my skin before I go to bed and by the morning my hands are just feel really really soft. I gave another one of these to my mom because they sent me three like I said and she really really likes it. Um, she works as a nurse practitioner at OBGYN but not for much longer. She's retiring soon. Congratulations mommy. Uh, but she I know doesn't like a lot of fragrance in her lotions especially because she is more all natural as well. So especially I think when you work in the medical field to not have like a very fragrancy thing on your hand when you're seeing patients and stuff like that especially because she works with pregnant women all the time um you know because she's OBGYN but yeah uh because of that I think that lotion like this is great for her so I gave her one of these and she actually really really liked it then moving on to pixie products you know I love I love a good pixie product uh they sent a little kit I had already unboxed it because I tried filming this video last weekend and I deleted all the footage so this is actually a redo of that video but I had already opened it this came in a nice little like package kit it was like the rose glow kit or something like that and inside was a nice pink pearl liquid face illuminator this is really pretty. Um, I have actually used it. That's why it's like falling apart because I'm not gentle with my makeup like I should be. This is really, really pretty. Oh man, I got the squirt bottle thing broke off. Now there's a big glob on my hand. This is really pretty because it is like the perfect, like really, I'm just gonna have to smear this all up my arm. You know what? I'm just gonna put all on my arm. This is a really pretty illuminator. It's got a pink, like, not fluorescent, but it's got like a pink, it's got like a kind of a pinky hint. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's got the most beautiful, just like glowy, dewy shine to it. And I think this would be beautiful to just give your shoulders a nice glow this summer. Uh, you could use this mixed in with your moisturizer, which is what I've been doing. I mix it into just my facial, facial moisturizer when I'm not wearing makeup just to give myself like a little pick-me-up, just a little bit of illumination. It's a very, very subtle, subtle pinky glow and it's just beautiful. So I would really suggest this for you guys just as something to add to your foundation, your uh, moisturizer, maybe pop it on your arms, that kind of thing. It's just very subtle, it's very beautiful and yeah, I really like that. So I kind of wish they sold it in like a huge bottle. I don't know if they do, but if they sold it in a huge bottle, then you could just like mix it in with your like body lotion and just like slather that stuff on your arms. I would be that person who did that. So I like that. Also with that comes the Rose Gold Beauty Blush Duo. I have been sent something similar to this before from them. It was like a duo thing and you can basically just swirl it to mix the highlighter with the blush or you could take your brush and carefully just go you know one direction and then just have your highlighter and your blush you know applied at once i don't really think you can go wrong with the pixie product highlighter or blush or eyeshadow i know a lot of people had I know a lot of people actually had some complaints about the it's judy's collab palette you guys watched my like get ready with me using that palette though and i loved that palette i thought the pigment was everything like it was great and I don't know Judy I was not paid pixie doesn't like ask me to make these videos they just send me stuff out of the like graciousness of their heart like I love the pigment of that all of the highlighters as well were beautiful I've never ever ever tried a pixie product powder product sorry I should be specific because I did not like their mascaras I've never tried a pixie beauty powder product that I did not love so this is probably just as beautiful and I say that because I'm not going to swatch or touch it because I do have something like this downstairs and tons of their highlighters and blushes so I want to give this to a friend untouched but I'm just telling you like you can't go wrong with pixie product highlighters like they are beautiful so I don't know just try them and the last thing in there that they sent was a sheer rose lip like glossy tint I was actually really excited about this because it is a beautiful just like mauve glossy color and the thing that I love about Pixie by Petra beauty products like their lip products is that they're all pepperminty like if I could choose a flavor or smell or scent for a lip product it will hands down always be peppermint I like sometimes that vanilla cake battery type smell and taste but for the most part I really love peppermint I just really love it and it usually has that tingliness in it that kind of plumps your lips so 
I really like this. The color is absolutely gorgeous as well. All right, now moving on to a bunch of hand swatches. I'm going to get my little uh, Garnier makeup wipes ready because this is, I got real messy last video I tried making of these. But a lot of you guys were super excited, just as excited as I was when I swatched these and shared this PR unboxing with you guys on Snapchat. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten such a huge response about a product that I've shared on Snapchat as I did with these. But these are the Milk makeup eye pigments and they are adorable like the packaging i love milk makeup packaging it's so cute like it's just adorable and i wanted to love them and they swatched so beautifully they were gorgeous they were pigmented they were shimmery they were just like out of this world just like beautiful Ugh. but i did not like wearing them on my eyes it really pains me to have to say that I did not like these just because they are so beautiful and because I know that they work for other people. I saw that Tati Westwood actually sw uh, used it in like an eye thingy on her snap and it looked gorgeous on her and she said she loved it. But I did try these and I talked about it on my Snapchat, which is the color I tried. I think it was this one right here. This is in Hotel Lobby. Let me see, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one I tried. So this is in Hotel Lobby. Look how beautiful this is. Like, it is just like a beautiful, beautiful, just like champagne-y color. I tried this on my eyes, and what ended up happening was, because I'm monolidded, I have to kind of do this and then put on my product, and then I open my eye, and everything kind of creases down with each other, especially when I do my resting bitch face and relax my eyes, and my eyes go like this, like... We've all seen this in that last video. But my I just have a lot of these like wrinkles and creases in my eye. And unfortunately, this stuff dries to a solid, which is great because you don't want it moving around. You don't want it smearing because it is a cream. But when it dries, it dries hard and it dries fast. So I felt like I had a very thick like coat of just something on, like film on my eye. And so when I opened my eye, all of those things, like my lid that wanted to like crease again like had a lot of trouble doing that and then my eyes felt really heavy like I had like six false lashes on one eye so oh I wanted to love it so much but it's just not the call it's just the formula did not work for me I wonder if it would work better for somebody who has creases and has like really like you know big beautiful uh, you know eyes or whatever but for my monolids it did not work another thing was that it dried so fast that it was really hard to work with in regards to like with my finger because it does suggest like oh you know it blended in with your finger mm -mm, don't use your finger use a brush if you try to use your finger and pat it it just takes a little bit too long and it just dries too fast and it becomes really hard to work with so because it's so pigmented you don't want you want something you want to blend it fast and well so I would highly suggest using a brush when I tried it with a brush it worked a lot better but again once it hardened it was just too uncomfortable on my eyes that it just did not feel I could I could feel the eyeshadow all day long like I was very aware of the fact that I had eyeshadow on my eyes which is not something that I like to think about throughout the day like when I have eyeshadow on I just wanted to be like okay I have eyeshadow on you know moving on to my next product that I want to talk to you guys about I've actually talked about these before L'Oreal sent a huge PR package of like paintable something I don't know painting was the theme or paint was so they sent their whole line of infallible paints these are lip products you guys know that I was a little bit bummed with the last ones they sent because they literally sent me the most obscure colors like they sent me this black one this really dark one and then like this purple one or something like that. Oh, and they sent me a blue one last time. I didn't get another blue one. Oh yeah, I did. Here it is. I don't wear these colors. I don't think I can ever pull them off or wear them. So I was a little bit bummed that I couldn't really actually try the lippies out. So I was really excited when they actually sent like wearable colors this time like these. Ah, look how pretty. These are amazing. They swatch really beautifully, but even better than that, they look really, really great and wear really well on the lips. They are not long lasting though. I will say that you do have to reapply, but the smell of them is really nice. The taste is not offensive at all. And I love the doe foot applicator that I like this nude star one. Oh, I love that. You guys know, I kind of have a type when it comes to lipsticks, don't I? I really love this DIY red. It's a beautiful blue red. Like it's got that like bluish undertone. That's really going to make my teeth pop and my skin when it's tan look really nice. So this is like 4th of July red. Like this is what I'll be wearing for 4th of July. Like if I go to a concert or something or... Who am I kidding? I don't really have a life. But if I do my makeup on 4th of July, this is the red I'll be wearing because it's beautiful. Speaking of eyeshadow creams though, L'Oreal also sent in that PR package all of these thingies right here. These are the Infallible Paints Eyeshadow Ombre 
dual thingy. And basically, they work the same way as the milk ones, except for they're packaged differently, which I kind of prefer this packaging, even though the milk makeup packaging was cuter and more modern and more beautiful and just like more unique. These make more sense, like these are more practical. So every single one has like, you know, different colors on the ends and they're very, very beautiful. And here's what I'm talking about the packaging. The doe foot applicator makes a little bit more sense in regards to putting it on your eye. But again, with the Milk Makeup products, you should use a brush anyways. These are actually very beautiful swatch. They're very creamy, they're very, um, they're nice. They're very nice. The only problem for me was the fact that they were a little bit patchy when they dried. So I use like these lighter pinks on my eye and I was very careful to try different ways. Like first I used with the doe foot applicator and I just kind of tried blending it with my finger. I tried using a brush, all those things. You know, I have a flat surface to work with. So I thought I was applying it the correct way, but no matter what I did, it, it was really patchy on my eye. It dried patchy. So that's not really something you want. Uh, you want it to be, you know, opaque and stuff like that. I honestly haven't had much luck with cream or liquid eyeshadows to begin with, or blushes for that matter. The only things that I've had luck with are the Bite Multi Sticks, the ones that are cream to powder, you know, in regards to how they dry. So maybe those are things that I should stick to. But these infallible paints and the milk ones just dry to dry. They don't dry to a powder form, which I think is just something that my skin prefers. So at least I tried them though. It's always fun to try new products. Not every product's gonna work on every skin type or person, so keep that in mind. So one of the last products they sent were these L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Liners. These are kind of cool. They all seem to be kind of in that like bluish green family, that kind of thing. They have a very, very sharp felt tip, like super duper sharp, super precise, which I really like. I really like the dark green colors. The black's pretty nice. They're all pretty opaque. They glide on the skin really nicely. The only thing is that I've just never had really good luck with L'Oreal eyeliner stain on my mono lids. Uh, that's why I've only always used Kat Von D. But what I'm excited for these pens for is not necessarily to do my wings for, but to kind of go over my wing. I want to experiment with more color in my eyeliner and to maybe have just like a flash of blue or turquoise or something like that. I feel like might look kind of cool for this summer. Am I too old to do that though? Like sometimes I feel like I'm too old to try to start new like trends. But anyways, that's kind of what I'm excited for with these just because the pen is so exact. It is so fine. So I'm hoping to get just kind of a really cool look. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know. Am I too old? To, am I too old to try stuff like that? Am I just kidding myself? But maybe I'll just do it for funsies in the basement by myself, you know, on those nights when I don't have anything to do, which is mostly all the time. But yeah, so maybe, maybe I'll do that. But anyways, these are very, very beautiful though. I would highly suggest checking them out. They're very pigmented, which I think is awesome. Last but not least, they sent this Infallible Paints Blush. These are basically just all your like bright pinks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge like pink blush person. I'll probably give this to my friend Brittany because she looks really good with more pinky blushes, but they are very, very pigmented. There's like this coral one and then you have these more neutral baby doll ones. I don't really feel like you can go wrong with drugstore blushes. I feel like there's a lot of great ones out there. I kind of wish they would have like nixed this stupid brush and just kind of made the compact one square smaller or put one more blush in here because this thing is absolutely useless. Like it's absolutely useless. I don't know anybody who uses these and has really good luck with them, but it'd be nice to have seen the compact maybe a little bit smaller with no brush or an extra blush in there. But anyways, yeah, you can't go wrong with L'Oreal blushes. They're all really, really nice. There is my beauty haul products that have been sent to me first impressions type of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my second time filming it, so hopefully it was not in vain. If you like videos like this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you want to see more. I upload two to three times a week about anything and everything. And man, this lighting. I cannot catch a break. I've been watching myself in the viewfinder just because I'm like, can they see me still? This light is up, it's down, it's up, it's down. I look like I'm milking a cow. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go because obviously I've been sitting in front of this camera too long because I'm starting to get weird and story of my life. I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye. Now I sounded like a goat. Bye. <laughs>